I've had the Peridonafi drone now for just about a year and I thought I'd put a video together to give some feedback and some tips and tricks of different things that I've learned throughout the year. Okay, well, what do I think of the Peridonafi drone after using it for a year? Uh, when I bought it, I looked at many different drones. Um, I had a certain criteria of features that I was looking for. Um, one was a good sensor uh, that would take good video and uh, still photography and this one happened to have a 21 meg meg megapixel sensor so that was a good point for that. Uh, I, I heard other drones uh, close by and they were very loud. Uh, when I read up on the Perdanafe it was one of the quietest drones and after having it for a year uh, it, is, it is very very quiet. Uh, you hear it when it first takes off, but it almost sounds like a buzzing bees. Uh, but once it gets, let's say, uh, maybe 10 meters away, you, you can't hear anything. Uh, it was, it's very light, very small. Uh, it fits into a small compact case, which uh, I can put into my camera bag. Um, and at the end of the day, it was one of the cheaper ones that met all the, the features that I was looking for. Now, it didn't have all the sensors, uh, obstacle avoidance sensors that uh, some of the other ones have. There is one at the bottom, so when it gets close to the ground, it won't hit the ground. But for me, because I'm, I'm not near anything that I'm going to hit, buildings or trees or things like that, uh, there was never an issue. So uh, there was, um, you know, paying for those extra uh, um, sensors, uh, I just didn't need it. So tip number one, uh, I actually had this in one of my previous videos, uh, in fact one of the first videos I did on it. Uh, it was more, it was about putting the battery in. Okay, if you can see this here, the battery slips in and it, you know, want to make sure it all uh, is um, level and it just snaps in. Okay, just like that. But there's times when you're out in the field that if you're looking down on it, you think you're snapping it in, and if I do this, you you think it, you heard the snap, but if you look at it from the back, the battery is sticking up, and you have to be real careful with that. And I've flown it before where it still flies, but it, literally the battery could probably fall off at any point, so you have to be careful with that. Okay, tip number two. Uh, these Peridonafi smart batteries, are, they're, they're fantastic batteries, but what they do is they, uh, if you don't use them, I think it's within 10 days, they go into uh, sort of a hibernation mode. And if you can see, they don't power up when you press the, the button. Even when you put it into the Peridonafi, it, it just won't, it won't power up. So both of these I haven't used for a while, and it won't power up even when I press the battery. So the way I've got around this is I bring a portable charger okay. and what you have to do is they won't come out of hibernation mode until they're getting power as in they think they're getting charged up. So literally you take one of these out with you, you plug it in, you start charging and basically that takes it out of hibernation mode. Give it a second. Now if I unplug that, if I press the power button now, it'll come on. So that's how I get out of uh, the hibernation mode. If you don't have that and you're out in the field, the batteries aren't gonna work for you unless you can charge them uh, out in the field. Uh, tip number three, what I found with this, because the, the Peridonafi, it uses Wi-Fi, uh, it is susceptible to um, Wi-Fi interference, uh, especially when you're in built-up areas. So it's, it's, it's sort of a tip because of the Wi-Fi interference, but you sort of want to do this all the time. Make sure when you power up the Nafi, uh, you wait until all of the, the, the GPS kicks in and locks into all the satellites and basically the um, return to home function uh, comes up and both the GPS signal for the, the controller and the, 
the perdonavi turn green. And um, what that means is the perdonavi, if it ever runs into any difficulty, uh, either it's running low in battery or like I said, the, the Wi-Fi interference and it loses contact with this, it knows how to fly home. It's got the exact coordinates to fly back. Uh, tip number four, uh, always put your, your phone into airplane mode before you uh, use your Perdonafi app on your phone. reason for that, uh, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't cause any issues, it's not going to stop it from working, but you'll be flying the, the drone and you can get a text or a phone call that basically comes up in front of your screen and blocks uh, the view of uh, you trying to control the drone. So uh, a bit of advice, I uh, just turn off or put your phone into airplane mode and then that won't happen. And tip, tip number five, uh, I've actually demonstrated this in another video as well, but um, get yourself one of these small um, leads for your phones. Uh, I'll leave a link down below. Uh, and what these do, basically the, the phones, the leads you get with the phones could be a half a meter long uh, or even longer. And if you use that, it can dangle down and it can get caught on stuff. Where if you get this short lead here, it even has the, the connector of the phone is angled. It just, it's all neat and tidy. When you connect that to your phone, that's the amount of space that the lead takes up. So it's, it's a much better uh, solution than one of the, the phone cables that you get with your phone. Tip number six. Uh, these do very well in uh, windy conditions. Uh, I found that out. But one thing you want to keep in mind, keep in mind the direction of the wind. Okay, when this is flying out, it can be flying with the wind and you could think you've got let's say 10 minutes left in the battery but when you turn around you literally have to fight up a fight against the wind so always keep aware of the direction of the wind how strong it is and how much battery you have and you you basically have to uh, compensate for all that because there was once i came very very close to losing this because uh, i didn't calculate that and the drone almost ran out of uh, power before I got it back because it had to fight against the wind. Tip number seven, bring your uh, replacement blades with you, wherever you, if you can, wherever you go. Uh, there's been times that I have had to uh, replace a couple blades when I was out in the field. And it's handy when you have these with you, so it means you can continue on with your filming. I've also noticed that uh, over time, some of the blades will actually, the very tips will go sort of, uh, they look a bit jaggedy. I don't know if they're, they're hitting insects or whatever when they're flying, but uh, I've actually replaced one of these, uh, even though I didn't think it's hit anything, but just because the blade uh, was a bit damaged at the end. So, What's the verdict on the Perdonafi after having it for a year? I'd say it was a really good buy. Uh, it does everything I needed to do. Uh, really good quality. Uh, does well in the wind. The batteries last a long time. It's small, it's light, it's quiet. Uh, and it was relatively cheap. So yeah, um, if I had the choice, uh, I would probably get another Perdonafi if I had to do it all over again. Well, I hope this video has helped. Uh, the tips and the tricks that I've given you, uh, hopefully that helps you if you have a pair of uh, I do other videos uh, of my photography, uh, different film locations, uh, how I take the photos, uh, the tools I use for taking photos. Uh, for instance, the pair of I do uh, reviews of how I use it and the good points and the bad points of it. In fact, uh, the next video I'm going to come out with is another, you could, I don't know if you could call it a tool, but it will help uh, both myself and my wife uh, with our photography, and it's a VW camper van. Uh, I'll show you that in the next video. Uh, it'll Basically, it's going to help us be on location uh, much easier as we can 
literally stay the night there and wake up early and get out of the van and go and take some photos. So if you like these videos, uh, please subscribe. And if you want to leave any comments on this video with the Paradon app here, if you have any questions or any of the other videos I do, please leave comments below. And until next time, I will see you later.